All right, welcome back. I have here with me um, a superstar, an icon in Nollywood, someone a lot of you grew up watching. And she still looks younger than some of us. I don't understand <laughs> how she's doing. Ini Edo, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> she said, me. I don't know, she's threatened me before this interview already. <laughs> so let me just report her to you that she said, what were you saying again? I don't know. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's your word against I'm mine, a nice so. person. It's nice, to, it's nice to have you here. Thank We've tried you. to get you here more than a few times. You've been dodging us. I don't know why. How's well, work I'm sure going? you know the, the reason why, why I'm dodging you. <laughs> I don't know the reason why. <laughs> work is fine. Work is fine. You have a movie coming out soon. I think I saw a couple it's of flyers. Out already. It's out already. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's called While You Slept. Did you produce it? Yes, I did. You're doing a lot of producing these days. Um, and I noticed there's also a trend for sort of your generation in Nollywood who have been in it for a while, trying to do your own thing now. Are you finding that it's better for you to do things that way? Or is it because of the money? Maybe the money is more in your pocket. Oh, no. I don't. It's, it's, of course, it's not because of the money. It's like you said, I mean, we've been in it for a while. You also want to have a voice. You want to be able to express yourself through what you do. And um, having the opportunity to do your own movie actually um, gives you that opportunity to, you know, um, do things the way you think things should be done. Do you, do you think Nollywood is where it should be now? Because you say that, which means you think things are not necessarily done right in certain places. Do you think Nollywood is at the place it should be at the moment? Um, I don't think so. If I say that I think so, I would be lying. I don't think Nollywood is where it should be. I think that we are yet to get to where we are meant to be. I think the industry is, um, has a lot of potentials, but I don't think it's been properly exploited. So, but I mean, making my film, I mean, some of my colleagues doing their own movies, I, I think um, it's actually a journey. I mean, we are heading somewhere. So I, um, I think that we're not there yet, particularly. I don't think we're there what yet. What are some of the things you want to see differently? If you could point out a few things that come to mind now. First of all, I mean, I'd like to see us getting some kind of royalty, you know what I mean? I okay. mean, it's, it, it really, really hurts when you find people that, that have been in the industry way longer, you know, before I came in, people that I used to watch when I was growing up, and sometimes you find them, they get sick, and they, I mean, there's been no, there's no provision whatsoever that's been made for these actors. Um, that's one thing I think that, one area that I really hope that whatever government we have in AGN should be able to rectify that. I mean, we should be able to get royalties for what we've done, I mean, for the, I mean, let's say 20, 30 years from now, we should be able to be reaping from what we've sown all these years. So that's one angle. Um, secondly, I also think that, um, I mean, piracy, it's like, a, it's like a household name business. Everybody's talking about piracy. Yeah, even internationally, we still have issues of piracy, yes. but I think that it would really go along. I mean, considering the structure of what we have in Nigerian government and uh, you know uh, how our society rolls, with piracy makes it almost impossible to to you know um really achieve that dream or get to that destination that we've been trying to get to so yeah. i mean just at the top of my head these two things are things yeah. that i i think that should be put in place yeah, i know you mentioned paris there and people have said that the music industry even it, even though they don't necessarily get royalties have sort of formed a great partnership with the pirates you know mm. to get at least plenty money mm. even if it's a one-off payment mm. for their work nollywood doesn't seem to have gotten that part of things right yet. Yeah. The cinema route seems to be the good way now. Mm. If you're able to make some money from the cinemas before it gets flooded. But even through that, it still gets pirated. Is there a way some structure can be planned, even if it's not formally? Well, about um, aligning with the pirates, I, I don't know how they're doing that. Are they really doing that? Yeah, most, most, most times you sell, you sell your album, you get a one-off payment, and then they distribute and oh, make they their distribute. money off. Yeah, oh, that, that makes sense. Lines, yes. I mean, I, I really haven't, I haven't heard of that before, but I mean, that, that might also mean it's like you going out to dine with the killers, you know, you just the play their game, yeah, game you know. <laughs> so, well, I, well I, I haven't heard of that, but that would work. The cinema aspect, I mean, for me, as a movie maker, it's crazy because at the end of the day, um, what gets back to us is like, about 30% of, of the entire thing. You know, there are all those hidden charges that they take out, they take out, they take out. So after you've gone through all that hassles of publicity, you know, promoting like you do your all the films, marketing. you do all the marketing yourself, and at the end of the day, you go with just like 30%. It's really not good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think that you're talking about putting up structures. I mean, I'm thinking that if you had more cinema houses, different uh, uh, organizations, um, different bodies coming to create different cinema houses. I, I think that, I mean, with a little bit of competition, it might just make it better. I mean, we should be able to go with something more reasonable because yeah. the way right now it, it really isn't that good. A lot of people have accused them, actors, especially 
those in the AGN of uh, going cap in hand to the last government in particular, you know, to just get handouts. We're not necessarily getting policy, you know, being made. We have a new government in power now. What do you want to see from them do for them? <sighs> well, um... <laughs> 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 You have a long list. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, I, I just um, uh, the previous government, um, like you know, did a lot for entertainers. I mean, we we tried, we were on the path of trying to create policies, which I think the president, our president, um, tried to put one or two things in place. If it's been implemented, I don't know. Okay. But I know that I was privileged to attend a couple of meetings and we stated our issues and all of that but I don't know how far they've gone with implementing those policies as in as much as I also know that uh, the former president made available some funds for movie makers to um, also assist in you know making our own films our own way uh, the new government well um, I'm hoping that we just pick up from where we stopped. We just make it, I mean, because at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, Nollywood is one of the highest revenue generating, um, one of sectors. the yeah, sectors yeah. In, in Nigeria. I mean, and I think that we are like real ambassadors of the country because I know that, you know, sometimes you go abroad, people really, they, you know, they look at each other like, oh, oh, I thought people uh, in Nigeria, people live on trees also. They actually really have those big houses. So I think we, we are the ones who give Nigeria, Nigeria a positive image out there. So I don't see any reason why any government would hesitate in trying to take us a step further. Okay. Do you get? Because there's actually a lot that the, the entertainment industry can offer this country internationally and, you know. Yeah. Since beginning yeah. of the president, do you regret campaigning for the last government? Any I don't. Regrets? I don't. I don't. I don't regret. I mean, it's politics. Uh, it's. Um, I'm not a politician anyway. Mm -hmm. um, not, but yet. It, yeah, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, you have to vote for someone. It has to be one person. And my reasons for um, being, in, I mean, campaigning or doing whatever I did for the previous government was because I knew that the previous government had a lot of interest in what I do. So, as a matter of interest, and as a matter of the fact that we can actually, um, you know. Uh, we could, uh, I mean, I, I thought, I felt, I believed that, we, you know, it was an avenue that we could have created a more conducive atmosphere for entertainers, even younger ones that would come after me. You know, so, yeah, I, I, I love the fact that it really picked a lot of interest in, in entertainment, so I wanted to encourage that. Let's talk about you personally. Let's, let's go to um, your personal life. Um, unfortunately, I know you're not, you're not necessarily one to put it out there, but it does come out quite a lot. And um, your mm. divorce has been in the news a lot recently now. Um, what happened there with your former husband? If I'm what that. you say recently, it's kind of <laughs> stale. It's like old news. <laughs> Nothing really. It's just um, uh, differences. Mm. 